Imagine controlling your entire digital wall space with just a few keystrokes. One thing about me is I will always find a tool that will help improve my productivity. Hi, my name is Gift Egwenu. I'm a developer advocate and a content creator. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you a tool that I came across that has completely redefined how I use and navigate through my Mac. I hope you're as excited as I am. Let's get right into the video. Raycast is a productivity tool that is designed to help streamline and enhance the efficiency of how you perform various tasks on your computer. And it is particularly made for Mac OS users. I'm so sorry if you use a Windows, but this tool is specifically made for Mac OS users. It's an alternative to Spotlight on your Mac, which is a default Mac OS search feature. Raycast is extendable and easily customizable. And I honestly feel like this is one of the reasons that sold me when I tried this for the first time. It's not just your average search bar. It lets you install extension that helps you integrate with other third party tools and services. I feel like Raycast is geared toward power users, developers, and really anyone looking to streamline their workflow. Now, I want to highlight some of the core features that comes with Raycast, like why is it different from like the typical spotlight that I have on my Mac. So one of the things that actually drew my attention to it is extensions. Raycast has several different extensions that are built in. So for example, I could do what is $200 euros. This is super cool because usually I'll have to go look for a currency converter to do this, but I can do that directly within my application. It also works for Naira, but I need to use the NGN like so. Yeah, this is actually quite almost accurate, right? Um, you can also do cool things like calculation, right? Your typical 54 times four. Basically, you can use the calculator for different types of calculation you would like to do, but that's not the only built-in feature that comes with Raycasts. You know, there is clipboard history. So for example, if I go here and I copy this and I say clipboard history, I can see all of the different things that I've copied as far back as like yesterday, 24 hours ago, which is super cool because sometimes you might copy something and you want to refer back to it, but you already lost it, right? So this is very, very handy. And all of these tools comes built in with Raycast. There is also another feature that I really like, which is called window management. You would actually not see this happen in real time, but let's try. So I can use this to arrange the window on my system however I want. So if I do windows management and I say this should go to the first dot or I do this should be the center two thirds or I do for example um, bottom third right so I can actually use this to arrange my window however I choose usually I have an app called rectangle that does this for me but no this is built into recast which is really 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 good right another interesting thing you have that comes built in is quick notes, right? So you can take notes, for example, um, it's called floating note, I think. So if I toggle this note on, I can actually use this as my to-do list while I'm working. And then when I don't want it showing up, I can usually toggle it back. So toggle, yeah. So these are core features or core things that are built into Raycast. But that's not all. You also have extensions that you can also include directly, which I kind of find interesting. There's almost an extension for everything. There's an extension for ChatGPT, Arc, Google Translate. This one, I honestly did not waste time in installing Q process. For every single time that I have to do this, I even have it written down somewhere in my notes the command that I need to use to kill process. For example, if I want to kill a pot, I would go and Google what is the command for that. But this is basically, I think I have it installed. Let's see. So I can easily kill any process. I don't have one currently running on my pot. For example, pot 8080 or um, pot 8787, right? So I can easily use this without having to remember the command. So it's very, very, very useful. There are extensions for a lot of different things. We can see as far back as Brew, Spotify, VS Code. I have a couple of them already installed and 
Personally, I would say go through the extension store and see which ones are useful for you and then go ahead and install them. Another cool feature I would like to highlight is how you can actually add aliases and hotkeys for specific applications within Raycast. This is super quick and easy to do. So if you need to set up a specific alias or hotkey for an application, all you need to do is open up your Raycast and use command comma to go to the extensions um, settings. And then here you can just find the specific application you want to set an alias for. So for example, if you want to easily create a database page within Notion, you can add an alias for that or set a hotkey for that. And with that, whenever you're within Notion and you just type in that key, automatically does the specific function that you've applied for it. So I think this is very handy, especially if you're trying to, you know, be fast um, with things that you're doing. You don't have to like click around or scroll through to do specific things. Of course, everything that I've showed you up until now is completely free to use, which is honestly so surprising. But if you like pro features, like for example, there's a feature called Raycast AI essentially your chat gpt within your spotlight app right or you want to be able to sync things to the cloud or have custom themes or have unlimited clipboard history then you have to pay eight dollars per month for that right now i am just using the free version this is something i'll happily pay for and there is also one additional thing i would like to highlight which is the fact that you as a developer or i as a developer i can go on to build my own extension using the Raycast API. I think this is really amazing because I've gone over the store and I've seen a lot of different tools that personally I use as a developer and I see that actual developers go ahead to build this tool just to enable people extend their workflow and have people, you know, access all these extensions for free. And I had an idea, what if I actually go ahead and build an extension because I saw within the store that there is a an extension for Vessel and one for Netlify. So I'm still thinking if this is something I want to do, but I would like to build one for Cloudflare Pages, an extension for Cloudflare Pages. So if I go ahead with that idea, I'll definitely document how I built it and share with you on this channel. But so far, so good. I've gone through the documentation underneath it's using React, Node.js, and TypeScript, which I'm pretty much familiar with. So it's going to be a breeze building with. And their documentation is also very, very, very cohesive and easy to understand. So I'm looking forward to exploring that if I go ahead with the idea. All of this is cool. I find that Raycast is easily that one app that you need to have on your computer if you're using a Mac. There are also other alternatives, like, for example, Alfred does very similar features and the using just the default spotlight tool that comes directly installed in your mac um the comparison between them i have not used alfred so i can't say much about this tool but i know that they have very 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 similar features but i still would lean towards raycast because i just really loved the ui the ease of you know accessing it or navigating through it uh also because i have not tried this so i can't really say much to it but comparing it to the mac os spotlight it's way way advanced like it gives me more features it gives me tools extensions that i could use at f my fingertips right so it's really really that tool that you would really want to install for example i installed a, a color picker means i have a color picker basically at my fingertips I could easily just spin this up, look for color picker and pick the color that I want to use. And this is just scratching the surface of what you can do with this tool. Of course, like I mentioned, there are other pro features that you can pay for to assess and it will do more magical things for you, right? So definitely check it out if it's something you're interested in. So there you have it. Raycast is a tool that ever since I installed it on my Mac, I found it very useful for helping me search through different applications. 
I honestly love that I could use alias to quickly open up applications and get started with the work that I want to do. If you find this app interesting, you should go ahead and download it. It's free for you to use, uh, except you want the additional advanced features, then you can pay for it. But right now I'm using all of the free features and I'm really, really loving it. If you enjoyed watching this video, I'm sure you also liked this other video that I've made sharing the apps and the tools that I have within my Mac that helps me stay productive. Go ahead and check it out. And with that, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.